This is video number 25 from digital-university.org. Um, in this video, we're going to consider the node technique again. And the circuit that we have just has, again, like the previous video, a single node for us to consider. Actually, there's two nodes, one here and one down here. But this one is grounded. And again, a node is just a junction point of one or more branches of the uh, circuit. So here we have the branch point for this resistor, this resistor, and this resistor. And here we have the branch point for our current source, this resistor, and the battery down here at the bottom of the circuit. And if it's if you're still not convinced that there's a single node, what we can do is redraw it like this, or at least at the top part that there's only a single node. Here we have this, and coming out of it is the resistor with the current with the generator. This here is a generator that puts out a voltage of 16 volts with this polarity. Here's our resistor RL. And here now is the other resistor connected to the battery going like this. So two nodes in the circuit top and bottom, this node right here is grounded, so we consider that to be at zero volts. So these two circuits are entirely the same. We just drew it like this to emphasize the fact that at the top here, there's a single node. Okay, and again, this is a generator that puts out 16 volts with this polarity. And here we have a battery. So for example, this could be a circuit in a car where you have both a battery and a generator as voltage sources. And this 2 tenths of an ohm could be the internal resistance of the generator. And here, this resistance at 1 tenth of an ohm could be the internal resistance of the battery. And what we do is, as we proceed in the last video, for all the nodes, right now we're just dealing with single node circuits, we assign them a voltage, or just designate it as a voltage, we'll call it V1. We don't know what it is. Now what we do is, at that node, we go ahead and write current equations based upon um, Kirchhoff's current laws, basically telling us that the net flow uh, in any node of the circuit, net current flow, is zero. Now, what a lot of textbooks would do is, for unknown currents, when you're setting the problem up, they just assume that the unknown current is flowing away from the node. It may not actually be flowing away from the node, but later on we do our numerical analysis, we'll, we can sort through that better. So. And any currents that flow away from the node are assigned a positive value. Currents flowing into the node are denoted with a negative value. So here we have this node. And we're assuming then that the currents flow, these are all unknown currents. So we assume that they are flowing out of the node like this. and we sum them to zero. So here we would have the amount of current through this resistor. Well, we're assuming right now that with this potential that it's pushing the current this way. Here we have a generator that has a polarity like this. So that's going to be pushing the current this way. So the amount of current flowing through the resistor, we're assuming for the moment, 
in this direction, that would be equal to that this potential V1 minus this potential minus 16 divided by the magnitude of the resistor 2 tenths of an ohm. So again, for right now while we're setting the problem up, we're assuming that the current is going this way through the resistor. This is trying to push the current this way, so the amount of current in this direction would be this voltage minus this voltage. Okay, then for this one, it's just simply going to be plus voltage V1 divided by the magnitude of the resistance for RL. That's just 1. And again, now for this resistor, we're assuming that the current is going away from the node. And the magnitude of that current, well, this then voltage we're assuming is pushing the current through the resistor in this direction. But the battery here, with its positive polarity, would be trying to push a current in that direction. So the net current flow in this direction would be V1 minus 12.8. divided by the resistor, that's a tenth of an ohm, and that equals zero. So for this problem, there's just a single node. Therefore, there's just a single variable right now to solve for, and that is V1. So we have V1, and here we have V1 divided by 2 tenths, that would be 5 times V1. And here we have 16 divided by 2 tenths, that would be minus 80. Try to keep things in better focus. Then here we have V1 divided by 1 tenth, so that's plus 10 times V1, and then we have minus 12.8 divided by 1 tenth, that's minus 128 times, just, just 128. So here we have minus 80 minus 128. Take them over to the right side of the equation, and that's 2 zero eight and then here we have ten five and one so we have sixteen times v one equals two hundred and eight so v one equals two hundred and eight divided by sixteen and put on the calculator, that's 13 volts. So we have determined then that up here, this has a potential of 13 volts right here. Okay, so let's figure out our currents, the magnitude of them, and in which direction they're going. Now the first thing we notice is, here we have 13 volts of a positive polarity. Down here, of course, this is just taken as zero potential. So 13 volts pushing the current this way, but here we have 16 volts pushing it this way, so the current is not flowing out of the node when we first had it set up. The current is going to be going this way through the resistor, and the magnitude of that current is going to be 16 minus 13, or that's going to be 3 volts divided by 
the resistance, that's 2 tenths, so this will equal 15 amps of current for that resistor there. Now here, of course, this, this is just going to be the current for going through that, through RL. That's just 13 divided by 1, so that's 13 amps. Now here, this is going upward. And of course, this is going downward. Now, for this resistor, here we have 12.8 volts. Again, a positive polarity here, trying to push the current up this way. But here, this is at a positive polarity, pushing the current this way. So, this is at a higher potential than this is. So, the current will be leaving the node. So, this is correct. The magnitude of that current will be 13 minus 12.8, this positive potential minus that positive potential, divided by 1 tenth, and this is 2 tenths divided by 1 tenth. So that's 2 amps, and this current that is flowing through through this resistor, that's going to the right. So just briefly going back to the top, here then we know that this current is 15 amps, and it's flowing in this direction. This current is 2 amps, and it's going in this direction, and this current here is 13 amps flowing downward. So that's it for this video. Um, what we'll do in the uh, coming videos is we'll have circuits now where we have multiple nodes and we'll have simultaneous equations to solve for so in order to get all of our unknown variables. So come back and join us for those videos and we'll try and solve some more complicated problems.